God designed for us to drink pure water. But just before e each glass of water, if you take a crystal of Celtic salt, Celtic salt is a hand harvested sea salt from the Celtic Sea. And the Celtic Sea, the Celtic salt contains 82 minerals. Those minerals that you find in the bones in the exact proportion. If you take a crystal of Celtic salt in your mouth just before each glass of water, so that's an average of eight times a day, Dr. Robert Thompson says, all you're doing is replacing the minerals you lost yesterday. We lose some minerals when we perspire. We lose some minerals when we urinate. All bodies waste fluids that come out. We're losing a few minerals. We need to replace them. I ask you, what is avocado and tomato on some lovely rice out of bread if it hasn't got some salt on it? What's a baked potato without salt? The Bible talks about salt in Matthew chapter 5, verse 4. 13 it says you are the salt of the earth if the salt has lost its savor wherewith shall it be salted it is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and trodden underfoot of men i'd like to suggest that table salt has lost its savor you see 30 percent of the minerals in seawater is sodium 50 percent is chloride so they're the first crystals formed they're scooped up bleached aluminium is added there's your table salt and so one way to overcome osteoporosis is to make sure our bones are getting minerals. This lady had to stop her tea, all her caffeine, all her refined sugar because it was leaching the minerals out. And she had to make sure she has dark green leafy vegetables every day. Now in the background here you'll see the garden with lots of dark green leafy vegetables. We should be eating dark green leafy vegetables every day. They're very high in minerals. The problem today is many vegetables are grown in devitalized soil. So it's important to have organic. Organic fruits and vegetables are grown in soil that's been fed with minerals. They have compost in it, which has the microbes in it to access the minerals out of the soil and into the plants. So to strengthen the bones, Helen had to start eating more greens. She had to start having Celtic salt every day, eating organic foods. She had to stop all the stimulants that are leaching the minerals. She had to go on the Anna's Wild Yam Cream, which can balance the hormones. Time to strengthen the bones too. How do you strengthen the bones? Strength comes by exercise. The most powerful exercise is the exercise that defies gravity. That's your rebounding or your trampoline. So start rebounding every day. Every time you leap up, your bones and your muscles are getting strengthened. You hit the mat, they strengthen. You go up again, they strengthen. So defying gravity strengthens bones. Strength comes by exercise. Push-ups. Everyone should do push-ups every day. Have you done your push-ups today? Ladies, you can do your push-ups on your knees. If you can't get on the knees, you can do push-ups against the wall or against the, against the bench. You're defying gravity every time you push back. That strengthens the bones. So it is not hard to overcome osteoporosis. Stop the things that are leaching the minerals. Start taking high mineral diet, which is your greens, using your Celtic salt on your food, organically grown fruits and vegetables. Balance the hormones. And you can have strong bones the way God meant us to have strong bones.